Hello, welcome everyone to this class, Quantitative Techniques, CPA2. And uh, today I am glad to be your guide and instructor. I'm called Elijah Ebong. And our first topic of this paper shall be introduction to quantitative techniques. So what do we mean by the paper itself, quantitative techniques? Uh, is a collection of mathematical and statistical tools used to record powerful means of analysis using quantitative data for effective decision making in business. So if you need to run your business properly, you need to gather information that helps you to analyze your business performance. And this information usually in terms of quantitative data. Mathematical means it involves the use of numbers, symbols, mathematical expressions, and other elements of quantities. And statistical means it is the study of methods used in collection, classification, organization, presenting, analysis, and interpretation of this data. So if you notice, quantitative techniques has two distinguished ex 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 meanings which which are statistics and mathematical models so uh, statistics in itself has branches branches include descriptive statistics and inferential statistics so let's look at descriptive statistics that focuses on numerical procedures used to collect data summarize and present it in various forms e.g. graphs, diagrams, tables, etc. And inferential statistics that focuses on techniques used for analysis of data, making predictions, forecast and estimates, and better decisions, e.g. forecasting trends, hypothesis testing, kurtosis, QNES, and uh, many other techniques which are used for what? Uh, for analysis of the data. So make no mistake, descriptive statistics means that you are going to try to collect the data and summarize it. So inferential means you are going to try to analyze the data and forecast, make predictions about the future. Applications of statistics, we have Three common applications of statistics. Quality control helps us in making uh, reasonable items, products of good quality. When we have the right measures, we have the right interpretations of our um, quantities used in form of materials and many other industry uh, items. So forecasting helps us to predict the future. Human resource management records about staff are kept by statisticians. What are the importance of statistics then? We look at in administration, just like we said, human resource management, and then uh, managing staff, uh, we need all those quantitative measures. Economics helps us in uh, measuring macroeconomic factors like inflation. Business helps us to Major performance of businesses in banking helps us to understand the customer deposits, understand the trend in uh, customer withdrawals, loan applications, among others. In accounting, accounting is recording, collecting, presenting data, summarizing, reporting it. So we need statistical data to do this in terms of financial statements. In auditing, helps us to generate samples we look at sampling in this uh, in this paper so that we understand how auditors why do we need samples natural sciences helps us to uh, understand some of the uh, the things the medics the medicals look at in order to come up with conclusions about specific patients and medicine is quite similar to um, natural and social sciences so finally, we look at the limitations of statistics, which 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 mean which which guides us on what are the shortcomings. Everything has a shortcoming. It only uses quantitative data, 
true only on average, not exactly true. It's a means and not an end, can be misused, does not deal with isolated measurements. So next class, we'll look at types of data and, and, and we proceed and understand the, the concept of data.